card. 2. Now make it. Hey guys, welcome to Art2. If you're new to the channel, this channel is about helping you sell your art online. In today's video, we're going to discuss if Vexels is a scam. So if you're looking for a quick way to come up with designs online, there's a whole bunch of services that offer pre-made templates and vector graphics and fonts and things like that that you can use and incorporate with your design. Now the thing with Vexels is that it's a membership-based platform where you have to subscribe on a monthly term in order to get their assets. So it means if you want to use uh, some of the designs, the vector graphics, the uh, templates, whatever is on their website, you have to pay for a monthly subscription and there's different levels of subscription packages. Now, if we look at their uh, website, let's take a quick look here. It looks pretty legit. They have a lot of good uh, designs. And uh, I guess if you signed up for a membership, you would have access to these designs and you'd be able to sell them on print on demand uh, products, be it on Redbubble or Amazon Merch, designed by humans, whatever you'd like to put these designs on, maybe change them up a bit and put them onto your own uh, designs, that would be okay. Now the thing that we learned about this program is that if you do pick any of these designs and you start uploading it to your print on demand sites and then you decide to cancel your membership, guess what? When I looked at the fine print, it says that you can only use these designs for commercial purposes if you're a paid member. So that means that if you uploaded this to Redbubble and you have a whole bunch of designs that you took from this particular website and uploaded it to Redbubble and then you decided that you didn't want to continue with Vexels, that means that they can come after you and ask you to take down your work and you wouldn't be able to sell it commercially uh, if you're not paying for a subscription. Now, it kind of makes sense that they don't want people to go onto their website, download everything in one month, and then uh, they wouldn't have any rev revenue stream, right? So it kind of makes sense that they wouldn't want you to do that. But if you do pay for a membership, that means that you're tied into this company for as long as you want those designs on a print-on-demand site like Redbubble. So what if you don't sell any of these designs and it goes month after month after month and you're paying for a membership? Or what if the designs just don't sell enough to pay for that membership? So this is where you want to keep an eye out on websites like this is read the fine print because if you're using anybody else's designs, they own it. Regardless of what they say in their terms and conditions, they have all the rights to their designs. So this is why I kind of stay away from websites like this and do my own designs because I don't want to be tied up to a company then now I'll have to pay for as long as I want those designs online or what a pain it would be for me to have to go back into all the print on demand sites that I use and take these designs down. Now I noticed that it is an affiliate program available through the site. So a lot of the things you might be hearing online, obviously it's going to be skewed because people can get a commission from uh, recommending this to the public and getting their affiliate income if you sign up through their link. We don't do that on this channel. We try not to show you guys things that um, maybe don't add value overall so I just want you guys to quickly look at this website and uh, just understand what it is before you sign up for a membership and then realize that you don't own the works and that you have to take them down if you stop paying for a membership so when we look at the plans you actually have to take a look at this carefully because for the seven dollar and fifty cent plan which is the uh, basic plan you can't upload this to any of the sites you're probably using like Redbubble so you'd have to upgrade to the $22 a month plan. And then if you did upgrade to the $22 a month plan, they bill you on a yearly basis. So that means that you're going to pay $22 times 12. So that's the full amount for the year all in one shot. You're not paying actually monthly. So you're actually paying for a year of service, which works out to $22 a month. So you got to think that over. Are you willing to invest all that money into a site that you haven't even tried yet? And, um, uh, commit to using these guys for your designs when if you're already designing work and you're already uploading to these sites you probably know how to create your own designs so i would be interested in hearing from anyone that's signed up for the site and is actually using it for print on demand and if you've had any success with it if you want to leave some comments down below uh, then you can help the community find out if this is something that they want to pursue or if it's just not worth their time 
So I hope you guys found some value in this video. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already to the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you know when the next video goes up. And if you hit the like button, that helps us get found in the YouTube algorithm. We're constantly putting up content regarding print on demand and how to sell your art online. So check back. We'll have some new videos soon and we'll talk to you guys in the next one.